Members, we are here today to present Assembly Bill 1054. The provisions of AB 1054 and its companion bills will allow utilities to offer safe and affordable power through the state, but more importantly, it endeavors to minimize and prevent utility-caused wildfires from happening in the first place. My greatest concern is holding the utilities accountable for their behavior. This legislation is comprehensive in safety. What we worried about and what you worried about is for the next two years, you will see, particularly PG&E and Edison, very aggressive around, wild, aggressive around wildfire safety. What ensures us three years, four, five years, six years from now that they've done it? The governor's office has put together a department and a certification and a process with, with, very, with people with those talents to ensure that measurement continues and it isn't something that just happens in the next two years. We're at being asked to take a leap of faith on a bill we've seen in print for a few weeks with limited opportunity for thoughtful amendments and more robust conversation. I think that as a legislature, we need to ask ourselves, are we creating a moral hazard? Have we created a situation where we depend so much on a corporation that we feel we must, regardless of the circumstances, ensure their success. This is the issue, is that everybody's asked to rush through very important things that require analysis. pg and is in bankruptcy, other two utilities bordering on uh, junk bond status. Uh, that has a real cost to California uh, uh, ratepayers, and it has a real cost to going forward. Addressing that fire liability will go a long way, I believe, in stabilizing the financial markets and getting us back on track. One of the points of this bill is to get PG&E out of bankruptcy quickly. They can only avail themselves of this fund if they can get out quickly, and part of that is settling their current um, claims. My concern is that this is creating, it's opening the window for ratepayers to fur further be saddled by uh, the ever-increasing wildfire costs. We're very, very much concerned, not just about the rate, but the, the potential of emergency shutdowns, de-energization. Just as we're being told today that we have to accept significant uh, rate increases, we're being notified by the utilities in our refineries and our oil production fields that we have to brace ourselves for emergency shutdowns. That's an untenable combination. Unreliable power, more expensive power. Action uh, is, is critical to get to a place of both providing um, a mechanism for relief for victims, uh, providing important ratepayer protections and avoiding uh, higher borrowing cost, um, higher cost recovery associated with current law, and, um, and getting to a path where we can you know, get, the, uh, get the improvements that need to occur relative to safety and accountability into place as quickly as possible. My name is John Devers. We lost family the night of the North Bay fires. She called from trapped within her home and we had to listen. Her last words were, I'm going to die. And then she started to scream and then the phone call cut off. I tell you this story because I also want you to understand the victimization did not end with the extinguishing of the flames. They continue, they persist. And what this bill does, what 1054 does, is at least it begins the start of addressing those, some of those issues. The bill is far from perfect, and the process that was taken to bring it before us has also been less than perfect.